With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's discuss the question. Find the maximum area of an isosceles triangle inscribed in the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 with its vertex at one end of the major axis. So let's begin with solution of this question. So here if you will just uh, draw the rough sketch of this ellipse that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square. So let this will be our y axis, let this will be our x axis. So like this we can draw the rough sketch of this ellipse that is symmetric all about the axis of uh, this x and y and this will be the center of the ellipse. So this is origin basically so we can name this O. This is our x axis, this is our y axis. So this is the major axis that is uh, x axis is the major axis for this ellipse we are having and uh, we are drawing an isosceles triangle with one vertex as uh, this major axis. So let this will be one vertex and uh, by symmetry because isosceles triangle have equal side. So we can say that like this will be the isosceles triangle side and if we will just join this point and this point. So let this will be a point, this is our b point and this is our c point. So these are A, B, C are the vertices of the isosceles triangle. So here this uh, B and C are basically this B, C line will be perpendicular to this X axis or parallel to this Y axis because uh, since this is isosceles triangle, so this distance will be exactly equal to this distance that is uh, A, B, this A, B length is equal to this A, C. So we can say that this uh, base will be directly parallel to this due to symmetry. So here if we will just to find the area of this, so first we will find the base and height of this. So area of this triangle, area of uh, triangle ABC, so it will be, if we will name this point as D, so this point D is there, so it will be half into this AD which is acting as a perpendicular into base, so base will be BC, so this BC, so this is the area, so we have to find the length of this BC and this AD also, so for here, we can say that if uh, this B point has uh, any parameter theta, this uh, B point has the parameter theta, so this C point we can directly define, that is uh, X coordinate of point B and C will be equal, so we can write point B coordinate, it will point B, so it will be A cos theta somewhere and it will be B sin theta. So what we have to do, we have to write the coordinate of point C, so it will be similar and uh, its value will be same as x coordinate and negative will be y coordinate. So a cos theta and here this will be minus b sin theta because uh, by mirror image this b and c are mirror image of each other because because this is a isosceles triangle and bc is a perpendicular line with respect to this axis. So this is c point so we can find the length of this bc also. So bc will be equal to so x coordinate are same so this will be difference of y coordinate. So it will be 2b sin theta basically, so 2b into this sin theta, so this is our bc. Similarly we have to find the ad, so if we will just uh, get the value of this uh, d point, so this ad, this ad or we can first find the od distance, so od will be equal to x coordinate of the point, so it is equal to a cos theta and uh, this oa distance, oa will be equal to this a unit length because uh, here we have assumed in this ellipse that is major axis is along the x axis so this oa will be equal to this uh, substituting y equal to 0 only here so we get the value of x equal to a so this oa so we can find the value of this ad distance that will be equal to this a minus this a cos theta so it will be a into 1 minus cos theta so if we will just write the area of that triangle area of triangle abc so it will be area and it is equal to this half into this base that is AD. So it will be A into this 1 minus cos theta. Here this will be into BC. So BC will be 2B sin theta. So from here cancelling this 2 with this 2, we get this as AB, this A into this B. And here this is a sin theta into this 1 minus cos theta. So if we just, because in the question we have to find the maximum area of this. So if we will just assume this term as t that is sin theta into 1 minus cos theta equal to t. So first we will just find the maximum value of this term. So this t we have t equal to this uh, sin theta and here this this will be 1 minus cos theta. So if we will just differentiate by using maxima minima we will just maximize this function. So dt upon d theta 
dt upon d theta it will be by using product rule so first we will differentiate this and keep this as constant so it will be 1 minus cos theta and here this will be this uh, sin theta so differentiation of sin theta will be cos theta so here cos theta similarly now we will differentiate this term and keep this as a constant so here this is plus sin and this sin theta that is this and here this differentiation that is d by dx of 1 minus cos theta so it will be minus this uh, differentiation of 1 will be 0 so it will be 0 minus differentiation of cos theta will be minus sin theta so this minus will be changed to plus so it is sin theta only so from here we get this as a cos theta here and this uh, we can write this as a 1 minus cos theta multiplied by this uh, cos theta and here this is sin square theta so we can just write this sin theta into th sin theta as a sin square theta which is basically 1 minus cos square theta so directly we can write is 1 minus cos square theta so we can just uh, factorize this 1 minus cos square theta into two factor that are 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta and for maxima minima of function we will just put this uh, differentiation equal to 0 so here this will be 0 here this will be 1 minus cos theta multiplied by this cos theta and here this will be this uh, plus 1 minus cos theta multiplied by this 1 plus cos theta so that is 0 so we can say that this will be 0 either if we will just take common also so 1 minus cos theta and here this term that is a cos theta and cos theta and 1 so it will be 2 cos theta plus 1 equal to 0 so from here we get the 2 value of this that is a cos theta if you can write here only so cos theta we have 2 values cos theta will be either 1 so cos theta is equal to 1 or this cos theta will be equal to minus 1 by 2 so cos theta will be equal to minus 1 by 2 so either of these two values we will have maxima and minima so further if you will just observe the given function that is uh, the area we have find that is uh, this a b into sin theta into 1 minus cos theta so if this cos theta is equal to 1 so it will be 0 and area cannot be 0 so we can say that this is the correct for the maxima of the area so cos theta equal to minus 1 by 2 so we can find the value of sin theta that will be equal to this uh, this is the base this is the hypotenuse so it will be this perpendicular upon hypotenuse so it will be 2 upon here this will be root of 2 square minus 1 so this will be 4 minus 1 directly so sin theta we can directly also say that uh, corresponding to this cos theta is minus 1 by 2 sin theta will be root 3 by 2 so it will be root 3 by 2 so since we are taking positive values because uh, here this quantity and this quantity must be positive because area is a positive quantity so we are just taking this positive sign so we can write the area of this area will be equal to ab into this values so putting the values of cos theta and sin theta so we get this as sin theta that is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 here and value of this cos theta so cos theta we can put so it is basically minus 1 by 2 so it will be this 1 minus minus 1 by 2 so we get this as this ab into this root 3 upon 2 here this will be this 1 minus minus 1 by 2 so it will become 1 plus 1 by 2 which is basically 3 by 2 so this is the area so maximum area we can say so it will be 3 root 3 upon 4 multiplied by this ab so this is the maximum area and answer for this question so we can just write the unit so it will be square unit here and this is the answer for this question that is matching with the option b 3 root 3 upon 4 ab so final answer to this question is option b thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today